Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of 007 Agent Under Fire. Last time we beat the first three stages, so now we're gonna continue on with Bad Diplomacy. So we went and grabbed those silly old vials, but uh, we're gonna play Bad Diplomacy. This is a quote-unquote stealth stage, but uh, nobody gives a fuck. So anyway, what's the stealthiest way to get into this building? Oh, obviously throw a rope right in the middle of it, duh. How could the guards totally not see you? Anyway, if you if you wait too long, this guy will see you and you die instantly. Yeah, so you get a dark gun, which has limited shots. With basically no ammo refills, but uh... I mean, there's one. But I like this level. I like the stealth aspect of it. It's like playing a Metal Gear game. It's like a, it's like a first person Metal Gear game. You know, but it's James Bond, which makes sense. You know, it's just, this is what a James Bond game should be, you know? With a high emphasis on stealth, because a lot of James Bond games are boom, bam, explosions, first person shooter. You know? It's very obviously an FPS. Oh, right, I need to equip the um, Q specs. Right, I wanna equip those. Uh, it's it's a migraine having them on all the time, but you know whatever. Oh, I hate the kitchen. I hate it so much. The kitchen. Can I tell you, this area makes me want to die inside. Basically, no matter what you do, this happens. There you go. Alright. So there you go. Can you see the Q laser thing? Yeah, you can. Alright. Whoop. Alright. So anyway, it lets you open secret doors. Nice. Grab some darts and that body armor you can't pick up yet, but whatever. Who gives a fuck? Whoop. Whoop. So either you could climb this ladder like a complete idiot, or... Obviously, you could friggin' grappling hook your way up there, duh! It is actually encouraged for you to grappling hook as opposed to go up ladders. So basically what you're supposed to do is just go to this area. Pick up some darts while you're at it. And then, uh, access secure room, which means you have to go into this room. But you see, this a lovely this lovely person. So you're like, hmm, who is this gal? I wonder who she is. And he's like, hmm. Well, uh, seems like you're rubbing the mic the wrong way. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, she walks out of there, and, uh, of course... These are private quarters. Sorry, miss. I'm with the new security team sent by the Home Office. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. Really? Shall I show you the way? <laughs> By show you the way, I mean literally just kicks you out of the gosh dang room. So now we can access this door. Which we can see this gentleman over here. Which I can show the in-game stuff because it's um doesn't go unbearably slow, which this is why you need FPS readouts all the time. Because, uh, you know when games are fucking up. Em, I found Griffin. He's been tortured to death. Looks like an interrogation gone bad. Oh no, it's another Griffin! You literally just shoot him a few times and that's a boss fight. Ew. So anyway, you get the, the passcode generator. I don't know if there's anything in this room. Nope. There's literally no relevance apart from just shooting that guy twice. Oops. All right. So then you up. Uh, fuck. You hit this up.
Malprave Industries. I wonder where that could be. <laughs> well, I mean, he said it was in Switzerland, but... More, more... Actually, hold on. Um... What I meant to say was, um, what does that mean? That, that was... That was actually the words I intended to say. Really? Yes? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. Also, take a look at these security lasers. What dingbat designed those? Boop. Boop. <laughs> Although I still love pe just darting people. The dart gun's a fun gun to use. And I'm sad that they only use it in one level. In fact, there's no other stealth levels in the whole game. And it saddens me. Also, check this cock tease out. Arr! Oh, oh god, I'm about to sink into the floor. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Golden accuracy. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but whatever. Cold reception. This is where most of the time in this episode is going to take. I don't know. I was done pretty quickly, so I don't know. I could probably do it. Whatever. The YouTube algorithm does what it wants. So that's Malprave. She's the main villain. Uh, they don't really tell you that, but she is. And also, I hate this little... Yeah, okay. So you go by the cover of Mr. Somerset, which, uh... You now get the spiffy golden gun in this level, which is pretty nice. Uh, if you were masochistic enough, you could hit both of these buttons up, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna hit up an Easter egg. Press A on this piano. Yep, Easter eggs are plenty. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you wanna go up and hit this button as it opens that door. However, there is a secret in one of these other doors, but guess what? I don't feel like getting it because, um, I don't feel like fighting a million bajillion enemies. Because technically this is also a stealth stage, but nobody gives a fuck. Uh, okay. So we're gonna hit up this lock, but then we're gonna strafe away. And then, uh, try to... Who the fuck? Who the... Who the hell? Oh my god. Where is the enemy? Oh, okay. He's looking at his girlfriend. Fuck! Fuck. Fucking... Shut the door. Shut the door. Or not. I can just cap you in the head. Or not. Shut the door. Shut the door. You're not gonna shut the door? Okay, fine. Okay, he shut the door. Thank God. Cap him in the skull. Switch to that lovely cute camera. That's interesting. Wherever it is. I'm trying to find the cue camera. Where is the Q camera? Okay, there it is. Boop. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. These Swiss guys. You give me a run for my money. Alright. Go to the laser. Expertly. Uh, 
pretty sure you could get a Q camera boost for this. Stop shooting me, please. There we go. Okay. Top here, got some body armor. And this and this rocket launcher for some reason. Alright. Uh Ow. I didn't mean to get shot by a desert eagle, but who gives a shit? Crap. There we go. Okay. All right. So they give you a boost. There you go. Well, what's it worth if you get spotted instantly? Okay. I don't like this area. Um, this mainframe computer area can go suck. It, it can suck anything. It can suck everything. Please, shut this off. No. There you go. So now we can literally just shoot everybody in here. And death is now a non-threat. There we go. Ah, oh, my commentary is terrible, but you know what? <laughs> That's a sacrifice. Sacrifices need to be made, so, uh... Oh, ah, oh, Christ. Ah, oh, Christ. I'm glad I did not shoot the guy with a shotgun first. I'm really glad I didn't. Okay, we're gonna switch over to a different weapon. Should I use that shotgun? How much ammo is in it? Barely any. How much is in this gun? Barely any. How about the submachine gun? Okay, it's got a decent amount. So now we need the Q remote, which can hit up this thing. Or the Q decryptor, never mind. So you need to hack into all the computers Which I'm really liking the strafing. The strafing is pretty nice. Really? That's it? Huh. Weird. Okay, so now you gotta hop into this door, which, uh, actually, now I want that shotgun. Because, here's the best part. You open this door. Right, now get out of there. Oh. Maybe I'm thinking of a different area. Okay. Well, at least I get three lives for this. <laughs> Or actually four. Did they give you four? I think, I think there's four. Uh. Okay, now it just doesn't matter. Well, actually, they still turn on the alarms like bitches. Fuck. Fuck you. No, you're not going anywhere. Okay. Oh, and also the time... The time limit literally... Could you all stop, please? Okay. So after just fucking myself in the dick by literally doing nothing... That thumb twitch, though. <laughs> okay, so I was just in there. There's literally nothing you can do. There's just a few things. Okay. Going through the vent shaft. Going through the vent shaft. Everybody thinks I'm dead, except not really. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can cap this guy in the head. Uh, I'm gonna go switch over to my golden gun to make myself stealthalized. There you go. You are dead. I'm trying, but, uh, these guys are content with destroying my life. How can they see me? The, the guy disappeared. Oh, there's a sniper over there. Oh, there's a sniper. He's a sniper. Oh, fuck.
Fuck it, we're going in. Fuck everything, we're going in. I hate stairs. There you go. I'm pretty sure there's a body armor down there, so I'll be good. An AK-47, me want. The hell was that music for? Oh. Literally the we're gonna destroy your life music. That's what I wanted. There's no enemies anymore, I hope. Okay. God, you go upstairs so slowly in this game. Okay. Bond, your Q remote is now programmed to open this door. Well, you know what? Fucking screw you, bitch. Okay, now I know what's after this door. You want a shotgun out? Because there's this dick face. Because there's that dick face. Oh, Jesus, there's a second one? Those are super thugs. They're assholes. Let's grab some gunfire and... Bob da boopy. It is my only chance, which is why I'm going to push A and not run off the hook, because you can actually do that and kill yourself. And you have to play that whole thing again. Okay, so I probably did not get the 90,000 they were asking for, but yeah, dear God, that was awful. But hey, I get to play Night at the Jackal now, which is fun. Which is that? Oh God, these levels, they just get really long. They get real long. How is it almost already 11 o'clock? Fuck. Okay, this is in game, so no lag. Which doesn't really matter. Alright, there we go. So you know what's the most brilliant part? You, you get the golden gun, and you're like, cool, this level's gonna be fun! Never mind. Then suddenly terrorists. And then at that point, fuck the golden gun, you're using the AK-47. Okay, who the fuck is lobbing goddamn grenades everywhere? Oh, this guy. Okay, they actually they actually are terrorists. I was I was under the assumption, you know, that I, I, I thought I was joking, but I guess not. Alright. Let me just heal myself a little bit, just so I'm ready. Yeah, but you can shoot some of these windows for guns and stuff. You know, just to be on the safe side. So, you know, it's it's whatever, you know, just fucking robbing people's stores, it's cool. <laughs> No, that's not cool. Don't do that. It's a fucking stupid idea. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I love how he can get riddled with... I love how Bond can get riddled with direct gunfire, and yet he's perfectly fine simply because he's James Bond. He's like, fuck you. I get it. I understand. Like, even this late in the game, and they're like, fucking, do you not know how to use the Q-Claw? And I'm like... Yeah, good thing I've been using the Q-Claws ever since the fucking start of the game. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Never mind, it's not gonna give me that. You're not even gonna give me the satisfaction of a cool-ass Bond jingle. Oh, that's what you wanted me to do. Ba -da -ba -da -da. There you go. Right. Okay, so anyway, go over here. Ah. 
Oh, that's why they want you to pick up the sniper rifle, because... You ready? You ready to see some, uh... Some sweet polygons? <laughs> yeah, how do, how do we... How do we zoom in? Yeah. I don't think we're allowed to show this, but, uh... You know... It's whatever. Okay, enough rambling on. Let's freaking go in there and see the actual scene. Oh, whatever. You have to get in close anyway. So who gives a shit? God damn it, QR. QR code. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna name him from now on. Because the weapons are named after Q, the actual scientist from James Bond, but for some reason they named him R in this game, which I don't understand, but it doesn't matter because he just gives you those sweet QR codes. So fucking, you are set. Alright. So you get in here, and uh, this is the part of the level that sucks, Basically, you're entering the, um, embassy backwards, and, um, fucking wow, does this area love to kill you. Basically, if you open this door and you're not ready, you're dead. Tashi comes out and a terrorist spawns. 90% of people get instantly shot. What is it? I know. Ouch! Excuse me. Alright. There we go. Hello, everyone. Alright. Damask you. Uh, doesn't this matter to some capacity, or no? I guess not. Alright, whatever. Oh, it's shorted. Shorted fuse box. Oh, wait. Oh. Never mind, I thought you needed the Q-Specs, but no, they're not... Required! Okay. Oh, actually, it was a good idea for me to grab the sniper. Never mind, that's why they give you a bond move for it. I'm getting riddled with more gunfire again. Alright, so they have mini Uzis lying around, which they didn't call it mini Uzi, because I guess they would, didn't want to get sued? But it's like, you know. But... Okay, just fucking sneak the bond jingle in there, you know. You didn't, you didn't actually do anything, it's just there. Oh, good, good job. It's good old Jolly England. Okay, destroy a gunship. Yeah, they're not lying about that either. Like, if, if you think this game would fucking shaft you by being like, fucking, you want to destroy a gunship? Nah, man, truthfully, they're like, you better destroy that gosh dang gunship. Alright. Well, well, the famous James Bond. Bang! D! Oh, you have to shoot her. This is the jackal! Carla the jackal. <laughs> See what it did there? I flip flopped it. Okay, basically, you just shoot at her a bunch. If the game allows you to. Okay. Yeah, this might actually be um a Mac Mac 11 if I'm actually okay. So then go over when she's over there and then push this button. She dead now. Awful pun of suck. Blech. Off upon a side, you want to go not only probably grab this body armor just so that you're not dead and dying, whip your sniper rifle out. Because here is how you kill this boss instantly. 
Okay. So he's not this chopper. But this one. Let's hop over to our uh, to our handy dandy rocket launcher. Oh, fucking hell! I didn't realize he'd be so desperate. All right, fine. Fuck. Eat an N16 for all I care. There we go. It dead. Now, here's the thing. If you sit by the door the whole time, guess what they do to you? The chopper falls on you and you get insta-killed. <laughs> they actually troll you that hard. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just the amount of points you need in these levels are just insane. But anyway, next time on 007 Agent Under Fire, we're going to be doing the Streets of Bu Bucharest. Bucharest? I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Um, I believe Fire and Water is after that, which I hate. And uh, then Forbidden Depths. Yeah. And then at that point would be Poseidon, Mediterranean Crisis, and Evil Summit. All right, yeah. All right. I know what levels take place. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.